welcome back to my channel thank you for watching this video today if today is your first time of watching any of my videos welcome and thank you for watching my name is Tommy and this is Tommy's color pavilion so today on um, today's video I'm going to be telling you five things that you need to know on reasons why you should take care and stay away from salt scientists have explained the things that happen to our body when we consume too much salt one thing that I've always known or one reason why I've always like try to run away from salt is because when you consume too much salt you get bloated in the process sometimes the kind of weight you're trying to the weight you're trying to shed is not just from fat if you have too much salt or you consume too much salt in your body you retain water and that water also counts for your weight so that's one of my reasons why i run away from salt but there are many other reasons so let me see there are top reasons why you should not consume too much salt apart from adding salt to your food you should also know for a fact that there's a lot of salt contained in some other things like some crackers some kind of crisps all those potato chips they tend to come with a lot of salt so it's not just you adding salt in your food you should be worried about you also need to be careful when you purchase fast foods that have a lot of salt so what are the things that happen to your body when you consume a lot of salt and why you should run away from salt kidney issues or kidney problems salt has a lot of calcium which goes into store as kidney stones and this leads to kidney issues i don't need to elaborate too much on this i'm not too much of a health professional if it was a health professional now the person would talk about kidney and but we all know that whenever we hear the word kidney we need to be careful so that we don't harm ourselves in the process so too much salt consumption actually affects the kidneys and we don't want that for our bodies we all want to have optimal health so when you consume too much salt know that you could be harming yourself in the process Number two reason why you should not consume too much salt is because of your blood pressure. If you take a lot of salt, I believe a lot of us know this, but this is just for saying and for re-emphasizing, your blood pressure shoots up and we all know we don't want our blood pressure to go up. Like I think the normal blood pressure for adults is about from 120, 90 or 120, 70, 80, which is quite good. By the time it starts getting to 140, 150, over 100, the blood pressure is going higher and higher and we don't want that a high blood pressure can lead to a cardiac arrest and god forbid nobody is going to ever have that so please reduce your sugar sorry reduce your salt intake just because it's so that it doesn't lead to a high blood pressure like i said earlier on too much salt consumption leads to bloating and adding to your weight overall you find it difficult to pass out stools you find it difficult to pass gas your tummy just becomes so enlarged and so bloated if you're bloated or you find yourself bloated you can take peppermint tea this will reduce the bloat you can take a walk when you take a walk or take lemon water with lemon water lemon warm water if that makes any sense to you so instead of you just taking lemons with cold water take it with warm water it will help with the bloat and don't forget to reduce your salt intake which led to the bloating in the first place the fourth thing that happens to you if you take too much salt is to have brain fog you might start forgetting things like memory loss that kind of thing a brain fog is just basically like an inflammation of the brain and that way it affects the cognitive functions in your brain nobody wants to ever have that like your work and you did something and you just simply forgot it's like a symptom of a brain fog so if you don't want to have a brain fog please lower your salt intake and finally the fifth thing that happens when you consume too much salt is osteoporosis or like back pain this is when you expel too much calcium in your body in as much as we need to have calcium in our body we also need to expel it in moderate proportions too much of everything like they say is not good you need to have calcium and you don't need to you need to have calcium in your body you need to expel it and at the same time you don't need to expel too much of it Salt is sodium. If you consume too much salt, your body is like sending a wrong message to the brain to expel it and your body might be expelling it in larger quantities than you need because you still need to keep a good amount of calcium in your body. This leads to back pain and many other body conditions that go on and on from there because your body has lost a lot of calcium which it really needs. It's like a calcium deficiency because of too much intake of salt. So these are the things we need to be careful about. These are the things we need to be wary about when we think about consuming salt. Salt is good. It gives a food taste but too much of it can be too much for us so take note when you buy the fast food take note when you're ordering food that you didn't cook yourself 
or somewhere that you go for a party if you notice that it's too salty it will do you good to just put it away so just make this a very healthy lifestyle habit and your body will thank you for it guys this is my video for today please don't keep it to yourself kindly pass it around share subscribe to my channel turn on the notification bell and do all the good stuff also check out my second youtube channel where i share lots of lifestyle and diy hacks that you necessarily benefit from also check out my instagram page tutumi adenuga where i share many more things that i might not necessarily put on this page as well as my website till i see you again do stay beautiful bye